Skype marketing software. Here in this first tab we're going to go over sending messages to people on your contacts list either by full name or their Skype username and it's containing text. First thing you want to do is launch up the Skype marketing software and have Skype running. You can fetch your currently online users as you see we've done here and if you've chose to do it by display name it'll show what their names are over here if you choose by Skype name and go to fetch your currently online it'll show by username so we're gonna go ahead and go by full name fetch online and you could opt to fetch all your users to message through all your contacts and this little broom tool allows you to clear the list if you hover over these, it'll end up giving you little uh, footnotes as to what each option is. So if we were to type in, for instance, uh, let's see here if there's a contact. We'll just use uh, Bishop. And we see him over here. And uh, this is going to be contained in his name, obviously. And it says message people containing. So if I just put in how are you, and I click message containing people, it'll message everyone on my list that contains that keyword or that word that we're searching. If you chose by username, it'll look for it within their username. Or we could go ahead and just select the people that we want to contact, just like this. Just clicking around and hit message user. This will automatically try and send a message to those users. If we want to call one of these users, we could just simply select the user and hit call user. It'll end up calling that user for us. Here in tab 2 of the Skype marketing software, what we're going to want to do is set up to randomly send messages or send one by one with time delay or send messages to strangers. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is capture our currently online or all our users on our list. We're going to fetch online now. And we see it's showing our online list. We want to random send messages to people on our list. Or we could go in order with one by one setting our interval of how long to wait in between messages. And then all you got to do is just click start and it will start sending the messages for you. If you want to send messages to strangers, the name should contain, and this is going to be the name um, of their username, contains this keyword that you insert and the message you want to send them if you choose to message them. Set your interval and hit start. You can choose to message them, add them as contact, or both. Here in the third module for the Skype marketing software, we're dealing with groups. Now, these are groups of more than two people uh, that you're wanting to contact on Skype. What we're going to do is fetch all information. It attempts to fetch all of the Skype groups that we have, and it's separated by a period here in between the Skype groups. Now, what we're looking for is something like this here. We see how these have a title and then the actual group itself. So all these other ones up here are individual conversations containing with you and another party. But we're looking for the ones that have this little title thing and then the group such as ad swap, solo ad, so forth and then this hashtag. We're going to select that hashtag, choose our interval in which we want to resend this message insert our message and hit send single message to group. This will immediately send that message to the group. Now if you want to use this interval setting here at the top, set your interval of how long in between sending this message and hit start. It will automatically resend itself to the group after this interval is passed. Here in the fourth module we're going to talk about broadcast messages. This is a message that you're going to send to all of your contacts within Skype. Insert your message here and hit send. If you've copied it from somewhere else, you can use control C or control V to paste it or simply choose this paste button. If you've typed a message 
and you wish to remove it, just simply hit Clear Container and it will reset the text box for you. Here in the fifth module, we're going to go over the Other tab. This allows you to change your mood text, which shows up within Skype. As you see here, I've got my mood text set. If I want to go ahead and change this, I can do so and just hit Change. It will populate Skype for me. You can validate contacts or pending requests for contact adding. Just simply click this here. If you want to random or delay this in between each validation, go ahead and click this and the number of minutes to wait in between each validation. Your status online. If you want to change your status, such as setting yourself to away like I've done here, set yourself as invitable, do not disturb, and so forth, you can do that here. Sending message to strangers. Name should contain. If you hover this, you'll see that it searches for users' contacts, or you can use a imported list here. This is a list of usernames from Skype that either contains this name, or you're going to use a list by selecting Use Imported List, and then a message to send. You can friend plus message, add them as a friend, or just message them. Here in the sixth module, we're going to go over profile information. This allows you to fetch your currently online users, or all users, and then simply click around and view their information as it shows up. So all you have to do is fetch your online or fetch all, click the users and it shows their information over here. You can export just the usernames, export all user details, or export just the single user's details in a comma delimited format.